Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, this is a, a fun and uh, fascinating video here today because I started this channel a few years back when I was learning about Linux because I saw the changes coming down the pipeline in Windows 10. I said Windows 10 is no longer a viable choice for me. And I don't like the UI of Mac. I wanted to get into the Linux world and get out there. Now, the thing is, I'm going to recommend to you that you don't want to just jump full-fledged into Linux, particularly if you only have one computer. Now, I have the luxury of working in an office where I have a lot of different computers, and what I was able then to do is start to move my processes around and learn Linux so that when the time comes that Windows 7 is dead and Windows 8 is dying and Windows 10 is the only Windows left, that I did not have to make that jump. And it was a very slow process. Now, of course, a lot of things that I was doing uh, are brand new <laughs> in the last couple of years. I mean, video, um, video production, book production, all these types of things that I do now, these I learn full-fledged from scratch on Linux. I didn't have to figure out how to relearn the process. But in my regular day job, I am a web developer, which I used pretty much exclusively Windows, but I also had a Mac laying around in the office. Again, I did not want to use Mac. Windows is dying. And so the ultimate goal for me was to develop a system that I could jump to. And I've actually spent quite a long time doing that. What desktop environments work for my workflow? This is a lot of what has been going on in the testing that I've been doing. I want to try out different work environments. I want to test out different ways of doing things. What I found is that the workflow that I had developed over the last 10 years as a freelancer on Windows is exactly the workflow that works for me. So with that being said, what I want to show you today is I have finally have my work computer built for doing web design work. Now, I still am running some stuff on the Windows 7 computer right now just because it's already set up. It's still running. The fact is I'm not going to take a perfectly good computer and completely wipe it out if I already had the workflow there and I cannot risk interfering with something on my regular job. So the goal is just to slowly roll over and phase over to this new system which I'm now starting to roll into my regular workflows more and more. So more and more projects are going to be started on this computer instead of on the old Windows computer and then going ahead and doing things. Now, one of the early, uh, one of the videos, probably I do it tomorrow, uh, scheduled to do it today, but I want to show you what the uh, end point first is. I want to show you how override theming and do and build your own custom themes because this computer I'm recording this on is actually entirely themed out for my business, which is based on oranges and blacks. So here is my website here. Of course, it's kind of out of date. I need to go in here and add new uh, add new things in there. The Twitter link, I don't use Twitter anymore. I took it out so I didn't have to mess with the uh, height of whatever. But anyway, uh, my you can see though that my colors are, are oranges and blacks. It's because I started my web design company when I was still living out, out west, and that's the, the name of it. So if you do need a website or you need edits on a website, anything like that, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Just use the contact form over here or reach out on Switch to Linux. Either way is is fine. If you, uh, you definitely need uh, need some web services, you can go ahead and, um, and reach out to me. But I wanted to make sure that when my computer is done, because there's times that I do video tutorials for my clients, teaching them how to build their sites, I wanted to have a system that is themed out to my computer. And so here is what we came up with. Let me minimize that. So I wanted to go with the oranges and blacks, but I didn't like all of the basic theming. So what I did is I created a new custom theme just using the basic Linux Mint theme, and I did some overrides on it just to get all of the coloring and theming that I wanted. Now, this coloring and theming may not be uh, your style, but this is the type of stuff I love. And when I'm over here working on a computer for several hours a day, I want something nice to look at. So here I have my nice calendar. I have some pictures scrolling through. I have my weather application. You can see there's light transparencies on about everything. It just looks very nice, very 
very slick. This is really just a few small CSS edits that I made. Uh, as far as our, um, let me just go ahead and pull up Firefox back up. Uh, just show you what the menus look like. When you do pull downs, you can see all of my system theming now matches the oranges that I wanted in my business. And so everything here, when I'm doing a, uh, a client view for somebody, they get to see everything branded to the way I'm running my company. As far as the software choices I'm using, I'm not going to open up uh, Evolution here. This is my preferred email client. I did, however, include my Thunderbird on this computer, which does have all of my accessory accounts. Evolution is really for my web design company. Thunderbird I use for all of the other things. Of course, FileZilla is very important. Uh, I, this is what I use for doing any file transfers. I just took all of my individual client files, moved them over from the computer. You can actually see my, my orange there. Um, I'll show you my theming here in a little bit. Uh, I put on here Waterfox, which I use for my basic development because there is still an old plugin that does not work with modern Firefox. It is critical for a lot of things that I'm doing to quickly spot my IP addresses. Uh, so if I were to head on back to my, um, let's just go to switch to Linux, actually. So when I head on over here, I actually have a nice plugin over here that tells me exactly what my IP address is. Where is it at? Oh, I didn't turn it on yet. We'll get that turned back on. I think it got taken off in something. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead and get that uh, plug-in put back on there um, so that we can see exactly what my IP addresses are and things. And then we also have our, um, we have Chromium on here. I might have to ugh, install Chrome on this thing. It depends on uh, and if I need to do that for any individual client work. Uh, Individual uh, passwords are inside of uh, KeePass XC. I don't have all the files over here yet, but uh, we went ahead and uh, put all those in. Other things I'm using, uh, Bluefish Editor is my preferred web development editor here on Linux. Uh, it has very nice code completion for a variety of different uh, tools and systems. You can uh, control all of our colors and things like that. Of course, my menu is my custom uh, company logo there. Basic accessories, we just have, uh, you know, whatever the basic accessories are. I installed, I'm still running GIMP 2.8 uh, 2 on this one. Um, I could probably go up to 2.10 on this particular computer. I installed Inkscape for working with vector uh, diagrams. We have our whole LibreOffice suite. I think I have my LibreOffice suite. Let's see which version we have on that. I can't remember which version of that I have running right now. Uh, Bluefish is under there. I don't really do much with media on this computer at all, so uh, I just have whatever was pre-installed. I did remove a few little things here and there. Uh, time shift, uh, system monitor, here's the basic preferences. All right, up here we got about LibreOffice, so we're running 6.0, so I could actually, I probably will upgrade this. Um, this is running Linux Mint 19.3, the most up-to-date version, running all of our, our security patches and all of our updates. Let's go ahead and have a quick look at our theming. Uh, so inside of our theming, one of the things that I did is, uh, and I'll do a tutorial for this, and I'll have that up uh, next day. I went with the orange icons, which are a little bit darker than I would prefer, but that's okay. I could edit them. I'm actually not going to bother. Uh, it's good enough for me. The rest of the oranges, what I did is I used the mint Y orange, but then I did a system override. So I overrode this for my basic theming and I changed the styles, but I changed them in my home folder. So if there is a system update and they push new files to this, it's not going to change my updating. And I'm going to show you guys in a tutorial how to do that. We also have under my desktop, I created my own custom desktop theming uh, specifically for this. So um, you can actually uh, grab that. Now that is where I have my overrides put in here for all the different files. Now if, the, if you're unfamiliar with how Cinnamon runs the themes, the actual controls is the master override. The desktop will override just the Cinnamon elements to it. And then the other things are, are in their accessory as well. So I created a custom desktop theme, but I just did manual overrides of the controls. Kind of like the way you would do a Joomla template, if you know how to do any of that, where I'm going to override what the custom is. I'll do a tutorial about how to actually override my system profiles. 
So of course, I'm just having some basic pictures, weather, and everything else is set up exactly the way I want my computer set up. Uh, all of my timing is exactly set, all my, uh, all my clocks, all my calendars. I could actually go into my theming and change this to be orange as well. This isn't something I pull up enough to really care, especially since I have my calendar up here at the top. But I'll go ahead and show you how I did all this kind of stuff as we, uh, you know, as we uh, look into some more tutorials on the channel. But with that, uh, I just want to say, hey, this is the endpoint where I was moving to. This system is completely ready to take over my entire day's workflow. Uh, any applications that I need, I can go ahead and use. I have a theme that I just love to look at. Everything on this computer looks really good. Took me a few hours to get everything all set up the way I wanted, and I'm still in the process of transferring some client files over here. So. Uh, with that, uh, I will show you how I did these themes and the themes overrides in a tutorial here coming up very soon. This will probably drop on Tuesday. And uh, with that, thanks for coming along. Let me know what you think about this coloration. The colors may not be for you, but this is kind of what I wanted to brand my company. And if you have specific questions about individual theming, let me know and we'll see what, uh, if we can uh, cover those in the upcoming tutorials. So thanks for coming along. I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thanks for all of the supporters and the patrons who help uh, help support the channel. Those are at patreon.com forward slash Tom M. That's T-O-M-M. -M, or you can head on over to thinklifemedia.com where you can actually support me directly over there as well. So thanks for coming along and we will catch you next time.